Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and it's a new release week for Blu-ray and 4K. So here's everything coming out for September 21st, 2021. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd, at MovieGuy365. Okay, it is a brand new release week for Blu-ray and 4K for the week of September 21st, 2021. Now, there's plenty to talk about this week, especially if you're a 4K collector, and if you like retailer exclusives, there's also a lot here this particular week. Even Walmart got in on the action, which doesn't happen too very often anymore, but this is a very cool kind of week, and as we all know, September is pretty heavy on the wallet, and while we get a little bit of a break next week, October opens things up all over again and puts quite a hurt on the finances. But yes, uh, it's a very exciting time to be a physical media collector. There's a lot coming out in the next several months. So, okay, we're not going to waste any more time. Let's dive in to see what is coming out on Blu-ray and 4K Tuesday. This first group of titles will be available online in places like Amazon and Deep Discount, as well as in-store, Best Buy, Target, and Walmart. The big release this week will be F9, The Fast Saga, which is getting several different editions. First up, a standard Blu-ray, as well as a 4K Ultra HD, which will be available at all your local and online retailers. Target will have an exclusive F9 packaging edition at their store, but this will be Blu-ray only. The Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook edition of F9 will be available in their stores this week, as well as online at their website. Disney's live-action Cruella, starring Emma Stone, is getting a big release this week. A Blu-ray edition, of course, will be available. It's unclear if this is coming with a slipcover, but given uh, Disney's recent history with slipcovers and Blu-rays lately, uh, that one could probably go either way, but it will be available Tuesday. A 4K Ultra HD slipcover edition of the film will also be available at all your local and online retailers. And there is also a double feature with the live action version and the original 101 Dalmatians animated. Now, I do not expect to see this one in store at Best Buy, but it's possible it could show up at Target or Walmart. Let us know in the comments if you see it on Tuesday. There will also be a few retailer exclusives for Cruella this week. First up, a Target Digibook Edition, which is available in their stores on Tuesday, also on their website. Walmart is getting in on the action with an exclusive cover of their own for the 4K Ultra HD. And last but not least, the Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook will be available Tuesday inside their stores and on their website. I have to admit, I like all three of the covers for this one. Uh, I, of course, won't be getting all of them, but uh, I actually am partial to the Walmart version of the artwork, but uh, I will be getting the Steelbook Edition. Uh, let me know in the comments section below which version of these retailer exclusives you will be picking up for yourself. This week, there's also two big 4K catalog titles coming out. First up, Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange is getting a standard slipcover as well as a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. I am a huge fan of this film and I cannot wait to check this out on the format. Also, Unbreakable from M. Night Shyamalan is getting a 4K release. Standard slipcover edition as well with this one as well as a Best Buy exclusive steelbook. I am a fan of both of these films and I will be opting for the Steelbook Edition. If you're planning on getting either of these movies, let me know in the comments section which version you are going to be getting for yourself. Lionsgate is releasing the 1963 Francis Ford Coppola film Dementia 13 on Blu-ray Tuesday. Also from Lionsgate is the 2021 comedy Lady of the Manor. And Shout Factory is releasing a pair of films from Studio Ghibli. And first up is From Up on Poppy Hill is getting another release. And Porco Rosso from 1992. This anime feature will be available and these both will be in stores this week. This next group of titles will be mostly available online in places like Amazon and Deep Discount. But you may find a title or two actually in store at Walmart. The 1997 thriller Breakdown is getting a release from the Paramount's Presents line. The film stars Kurt Russell, and it's actually very good. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend it. The 1991 comedy Necessary Roughness is also getting released from Paramount. And the Adam Sandler comedy The Longest Yard from 2005 is also getting a release. A few more titles from Paramount also coming out Tuesday. The 2004 Nick Nolte film Blue Chips is coming out. And Keanu Reeves and Diane Lane star in Hardball from 2001, getting a Blu-ray on Tuesday. And if you're a fan of these films, definitely pick this one up. The Crocodile Dundee Trilogy from 1986 and 2001 will be coming out on Blu-ray this week. WB Archive is releasing the 1953 Western The Naked Spur on Blu-ray this week. 
The Window from 1949, starring Barbara Hale, is also coming out from WB Archive. And finally, Straight Time, starring Dustin Hoffman from 1978, is also coming out on Blu-ray Tuesday. The Vigil, a 2020 thriller, is coming out on Tuesday from Shout Factory. I Carry You With Me is getting a Blu-ray release from Sony. This 2020 drama will be available online. Well Go USA is releasing God of War 2, a fantasy drama from 2020. And Mill Creek is releasing a pair of titles uh, under their label, but these have been released on Blu-ray before. But just in case you want to pick these up, these will be coming out. First up, Frost Nixon from 2008 from director Ron Howard and a two-pack of Meet Joe Black and Wimbledon. I don't know the connection that would put those in a two-pack, but these will be available on Blu-ray this week. The 2019 horror slasher film Haunt is coming out. Now, this has actually been on Blu-ray since, I would say, last year, available over on the Ronin Flix website, but it is now going to be for sale on Amazon. I recommend this one. It's pretty fun. It's a good uh, horror slasher movie. So uh, let me know if you plan on picking it up over on Amazon. Code Red is releasing the 1970 kids film Puff and Stuff on Blu-ray. And Boys from County Hell from RLJ, a 2021 vampire feature, will be coming out. And also from RLJ, Violation, a 2020 revenge flick. Arrow Video is releasing a pair of titles on Blu-ray this week. First up, The Snake Girl and the Silver-Haired Witch from 1968. And the 1975 film The Beast is also coming out as fantasy drama will be available on Blu-ray from Arrow Video. The 1941 film International Lady is coming out from Classic Flicks. This is Francis X. Bushman. A 2021 documentary is coming out from Flickr Alley. And the 2020 showcase feature Over the Coast of Maine is getting a Blu-ray. The Dungeon of Andy Milligan, a 15-movie collection, is getting a release from Severin Films. Kino Lorber is releasing a number of titles from their catalog this week, and with all Kino, you can pick up all these titles online no problem. Bird on a Wire from 1990, starring Mel Gibson and Goldie Hawn, is getting a Blu-ray, and I believe it's the first time available on the format. It has been years since I've seen this one, so I may have to check it out. And the Steve Martin film Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid from 1982 is also coming out from Kino. This one has a previous Blu-ray edition, but I've actually never seen this one before. But uh, the description, it really sounded interesting, so I may have to check this one out down the line. The 1988 Rob Lowe thriller Masquerade is coming out from Kino as well. The 1974 drama Golden Needles is coming out on Blu-ray. And the 1970 film Skull Duggery starring Burt Reynolds is getting a release. And Macho Callahan from 1970, this historical revenge film, is getting a Blu-ray. I read the description of this one as well. This one actually sounded kind of interesting, so I may have to check this one out. But if you've seen it, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. A couple of things on the TV front on Blu-ray. First up, Star Trek Enterprise, the complete series, is getting a Blu-ray. And Doctor Who, Sylvester McCoy, Season 1 from 1987, is coming out this week. Season 2 of Batwoman from the CW is getting released. And Resident Alien Season 1 is also coming out on Blue. And finally, The Blacklist Season 8 is getting a release from Sony. And finally this week, Criterion Collection is releasing a pair of titles. And with all Criterion, you can pick these up in-store at places like Barnes & Noble. But of course, Amazon and Criterion's website are there for your convenience. The 2004 drama Throwdown is coming out from Criterion. And finally, Love and Basketball, a 2000 film starring Omar Epps and Sana Lathan, is getting a Blu-ray edition. It'll be exciting to check both of these titles out. Let me know if either of these are on your radar for Tuesday. I want to take this moment to thank all my Patreons for helping to support the channel. All your contributions are really appreciated. If you would like to support me through Patreon, I will leave a link in the description of this video. So that is everything coming out on Blu-ray and 4K for the week of September 21st, 2021. If you're interested in any of these titles, I will leave an Amazon link in the comments section. If you use it, it really helps out the channel and look forward to tons of reviews in the following days. But I also want to hear from you. What are you planning on picking up this week? Any of the retailer exclusives hitting you uh, in any particular way? Let me know in the comments section below. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 I will see you at the movies.